Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Exercise 5.4 Factor Theory. Uh, in this exercise, we have two types of question. One is to factorize only here. And second, sometimes they ask to solve the equation. So be careful. This is a very important part in the O levels examination. So uh, I have divided into some steps how to make the factors and solve a cubic equation. This is a cubic equation. We have two cubic equations. So I would like to write the standard form of cubic equation is ax cube plus bx squared plus cx and plus t. This is uh, one of the cubic equation is equal to zero when we write not equal to zero is expression. So a, b, c, d, this is standard form of cubic equation. Uh, this, uh, when we need to factorize any of the cubic equation, so please remember what is the first step. The first step is trial and error. What is trial and error actually? Uh, we have to be careful here to find the trial and error because you are allowed to use calculator, first of all. And in advance, so uh, you can find all the factors of this cubic equation by using calculator. So you can get all the answers. But uh, if you want to know how we can do without using calculator. So just one thing here, the last, you can see the last one, the last number, mine is two. What are the factors of two? Two's factors are like one, minus one, 2 and plus 2. I mean plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. It means you're, uh, you're tri in trial and error you have to use these four values and you will definitely get one factor. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want to put first of all here, um, suppose I want to put x equals to minus 1. When I substitute x equals to minus 1 in the equation, what's the result? Let's see. The result is coming 3 minus 1 cube minus 10 minus 1 square plus 9 minus 1 and minus 2. Let's check. Do we have equal to 0? The remainder should be 0 because the, when remainder is 0, that's the factor. Minus 3 because cube is negative, positive minus 10, minus 9 and minus 2. When we have all negative values, it's not possible. So it means with minus one, it's not possible. So I want to write plus one now. When you write plus one, plus one, plus one, let's see what's the effect now. This is three, this is minus 10, this is plus nine, and this is minus two. Three and nine is becoming 12, and minus 12 is equal to zero. That's good. It means when you substitute x equals to one, when you substitute x is equal to 1, your remainder is coming 0. So it means when you move x, 1 is left hand side, is coming x minus 1 equal to 0. So it means I will write when I substitute x equals to 1. So x minus 1 is a factor. This is the first step. You have to use like... Uh, uh, I definitely advise my students they allow to use calculator so they can find directly. But in the calculator, the answer will be 1, like 3, 2, or minus 3, suppose. So be careful. 1 means you have to write x equals to 1, and x minus 1 is a factor, not x plus 1 is a factor. Okay. Step 1, we have done. Now moving to step number 2. Use relation. This is most important part. Whenever you have any of the cubic equation here, like ax cube plus bx squared plus cx and plus t, this is always equal to we. This is very. This is the relation writing here. This is x minus alpha ax squared plus bx plus c. Basically, whatever is here, actually, this is not the concern. Whatever the question is here, you have to write here, the cubic equation, your cubic equation, or the expression. And you have to write, this is the standard relation, L x minus alpha, and x minus alpha is one of the factor. This is one of the factor. 
So how I will write this question here? How I will write this C? I will write this cubic equation, your cubic equation, which is here. This cubic equation has the factor, like I will write 3x cubed minus 10 x square plus 9x minus 2 identical same is equals to what this is the first factor first factor means i will write x minus 1 and i will copy this quadratic expression ax squared plus bx and plus c this is step number two step number one factors try like the error step number two to get this relation and put the value and have one uh, factored form with linear and quadratic this uh, comparing the coefficient, I would like uh, this uh, for this, this purpose, please uh, watch 5.1, uh, my video exercise 5.1, that will be very, very easy for to understand is how we can use comparing the coefficient method. Now, this part, I have to multiply, I have to multiply this x with everything, so this will become ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx minus ax squared minus bx and minus c whatever the factor is coming you have to multiply and this i have to write cubic equation and this method i have explained in exercise 5.1 please watch the video if you have problem to understand because solving questions is not an issue main thing is to understand the topic so what i have to do now this cubic equation and this cubic there is only one cubic like this cubic part this 3x comparing the coefficient 3x cubed is equals to ax cubed from here the a is coming 3 the first part is that a square is one time and a square is two times so i will write all the square minus 10x square is equals to bx square and minus ax square this is my method normally what we do that we write without x without x square without x cube just only minus 10 is equals to b minus 8 we know the value of a here like from a we can put this value here in this, this part minus 10 is equals to b minus 3 so b is equals to minus 10 in plus 3 is minus 7 so by this way b is also known now what is left we have c to find remember we can use uh, x all the x like we can use or even you can use only this last part to find c because there is no other constant so minus 2 is equals to minus c and c is coming to when we got all the values of a b and c that is here this is our this part that we have to find find all the unknowns a and b so what's the new equation your new equation is when you have this cubic equation 3x cubed minus 10x squared plus 9x minus 10 is equal to now I need to put the value here in this step x x minus 1 is one factor the second value of a b and c these values are here Mine like 3x squared a is 3 here b is minus 7 so minus 7x and c is 2 so i write plus 2 so we made the factors after finding all unknown a and b a b and c and now this is the factor like factored form but make or make all the factors because this is not in the factor form we can also make two factors so this is the way now step number five what i have to do when you have made two factors in cubic means we have to find three factors so how can we find the three factors this quadratic form i still make two more factors 3x squared minus 7x and plus 2 can you make two factors 3 times 2 is 6 and plus 2 gets 7 so 3 and plus 2 gets 7 is what are the factors 3 to the 6 and plus 2 gets 7 is minus 6x and minus x i think so if i'm not wrong 3x is common, x minus 2, 1 is common, and x minus 2, and finally we have x minus 2 and 3x minus 1. That's good. So it means this cubic equation, this cubic equation is 
like uh, divided into three factors and three factors are uh, please this step is only used when you want to find like make the solution in this question we are making factors so i'm just writing here skipping this one it's 3x cube minus 10x square plus 9x minus 2 is equal to what are the three factors x minus 1 x minus 2 and 3x minus 1 if you want to check the answer we can check the answer in this part x minus 1 x minus 2 3x minus 1 x minus 1 x minus 2 3x minus 1 yes x minus 1 x minus 2 3x minus 1 so we have done it this is the step to make the factors of cubic equation but when they ask like uh, we have other questions i can show you uh, we have uh, questions here to solve here you can see to solve the question number four is here is is given here to solve you can see this is here solve the cubic equation so when you want to solve the cubic equation uh, this is factorized here it is factorized first and then is hence solve the equation so when you want to solve the cubic equation please be careful in cubic equation i have to just do one more step one one step more like here step number six what i will do now when you want to solve when you want to solve so it means what i will like this three factors this is the right answer we have done question number one part a so this when we need to solve i just want to clear just uh, because i don't want to make my video so much lengthy so i have divided into part this video 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x minus 1 equal to 0 is x is 1 when you need to solve x minus 2 equal to 0 is equals to 2 and 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equals to 1 upon 3 so by this way uh, i have explained how to make the cubic factors and how you can solve the cubic equation this is very simple so we have done question number one with the explanation if you think this video is useful for you please share with your friends like my video your comments are very important because when you write something this i should know this what do you need what is your requirement so on for that i make the videos so thank you so much and have a nice day